r slash isridin people who pick up trash on the sides of roads what is the coolest slash grossest slash most interesting thing you found i found a life-size statue of a couple doing it carved out of a block of styrofoam and spray painted gold it was the ugliest thing i've seen for a couple years it got passed around my circle of friends as a gag birthday present slash white elephant gift do you have a picture that sounds hilarious that was a fertility idol for sure lol found a man's wallet his mom's phone number was in the wallet called the lady and told her that her son's wallet had been found they came to my apartment and retrieved it i was rewarded with ten dollars from two very grateful lovely people disclaimer this was about 40 years ago don't let people come to your home if you find a wallet containing a government id you can just put in your mailbox the post office will deliver it to the owner yeah meet at a public place that's easy to find i was doing community service for caltrans on the 101 freeway one weekend the following day i wasn't scheduled but the day after that i came back into work and found out that one of the crew members found a paper bag with a pound of cocaine and about forty thousand dollar cash he never turned it in and he kept it for himself which was 100 percent the right thing to do the other right thing to do is tell no one coolest thing was complete snap on socket set grossest thing is still the sheer amount of discarded dog shit bags that dog walkers think is fine to chuck into bushes biodegradable poop let's put it in a plastic bag to save it for future generations a box full of live rabbits a porn mag with trial dvd not together don't lie to us we all know the 10 millimeters was missing cleaning up a local river and was finding more and more trash the further i walked upstream i go around the bend and see an entire dumpster full of trash that someone had pushed in absolutely saddening thank you so much for cleaning up I don't pick up stuff as habit but as a cable technician I once found a junkies rig kit with a bunch of prepackaged heroin, needle, spoon, and jewelry. It was just off a sidewalk where kids walk from school. I called the police and just guarded it until they got there. They thanked me up and down for calling it in and subsequently keeping it safe until they got there. I actually got stuck by a needle one time as well, good times. In Japan, a fully working one-armed bandit with a huge bag of tokens inside to play it with. Took it home, hours of fun. $50 bill best, used condoms or vapes are the worst. Rinse, reuse, and recycle. Well it was an underwater trash pickup event, we were on scuba gear, and I found a marital aid dot of course the only thing to do is hook it onto some fishing line I had found and dangle in front of my buddy from slightly above him. He takes it and starts swimming around wearing it like a narwhal horn. Also found a phone duct tape to a rock unfortunately the salt water got to it, so nothing could be recovered. Other cool finds. ID love to know what the real story was behind the phone. A cold 1911 with a bloody handprint on the grip. Called the cops of course. They showed up and were confused because no one had been shot with a .45 in the area for a fair amount of time. Man I think everyone has a found porn story. Obviously, it was the guy holding the .45 who got shot. I once found a set of false teeth when I was litter picking on a motorway embankment. Fortunately they were in a nice little box so they hadn't been knocked out of someone's mouth. I also found an air rifle when litter picking a nature reserve. I wasn't picking up trash but I found a set of brass knuckles along the side of a highway once. Under the overpass on Grove Street. That's really cool. 3. Case locked back with aluminum scales for me, still have it 25 years later. We did roadside pickup in Boy Scouts we had a 5 mile stretch of a highway. Cool things we found the biggest bag of porno mags. Bad things we found, a garbage bag full of dead kittens. Mostly it was just beer bottles and cigarette butts. Poor kittens, sad face. One of the guys in my work found two bundles of cash with 5k in each one wrapped in black cellophane like the drug parcels you see on TV. We reported it to the police and handed the money in. As the money went unclaimed he was given the money back if I remember correctly. Hi, I'm Javier, member of the drug cartel. I hear you have a $5,000 parcel here for me. Why are you everywhere? My buddy found a zipped up backpack. Inside was several ounces of wheat, a container of seeds, assuming cannabis, and $2,500 in cash. Dope dope. I found a giant globe. I had it in my garage for two months before I realized it opened up to reveal a hidden bar. Cool as shit. A bunch of weights in a ditch. There was two 25 pounds, three 10 pounds, and two 5 pounds. I don't know why someone would throw this away as people were paying over $2 per pound during the pandemic. 
may be same reason dollar thousands are found along the roadside. A perfectly good laptop. Tied with a pocket knife which I sharpened and still use today. At first I read that as the laptop was tied to a pocket knife like bound together and thrown out. That seemed much shoddier. So the little guy could defend himself in the big wide world. Probably something illegal in that laptop. I don't pick up waste necessarily, but I do walk a lot along a main road. One day I found 3 levels 3, 5, and 6 foot on the side of the road. A few weeks later I found 6 tubes of unopened Sherwin-Williams adhesive. Used 2 of the levels and 4 of the tubes to retile my half bathroom. My father worked for the state highway department back in the day. Things he brought home for us, an 8 track player and tapes, various toys, and our first dog, which my older brother unimaginatively named Fido. No idea what kinds of gross things he found. Many years later, my younger brother was working a summer job for the state highway department and his crew accidentally stumbled on an illegal toxic dump site. Hosmet called in, state agencies of every description, free trips to ER for all the workers, fun times. Used to have a friend who lived in a house next to a highway overpass where there were frequent police speed traps and constant trucker traffic. We'd walk the grass line near the highway every weekend and find all sorts of stuff nervous truckers would throw out the window before getting pulled over. So many baggies of weed, assorted pills, porn magazines, and handguns. One time a rubber banded cash roll of over $6,000 inside a gallon bag of weed. Those were fun times. The plastic cover slash wrapper for a massive dildo. I'm talking, this thing was at least 2 feet long. I hope it was a gag gift, because if not, somebody go into the hospital. All dildos can be gag gifts. 2 feet long. That's story mode. 5 more skill levels before hurt me plenty. The normal sized ones don't get thrown away. My grandfather was an avid collector of roadside junk that might be useful. Once he found an interesting shaped bag with some tubing. My uncle had to explain what an enema was to him. It's the only time I've seen him leave something behind. And GT, it's the only time I've seen him leave something behind. Oh, he used it? I laughed, sorry. Little baggy of drugs. Volunteered to clean up the neighborhoods around campus after homecoming weekend. We found a thong on the ground. Someone used a stick to pick it up and put it into our bags. A decapitated dog's head and the rest of the dog a few yards away. Where was this post when I lived on a turnpike near an exit while going to university? Poor puppy. I lost one of mine to a hit and run a few years ago. That was the worst thing I've ever had to witness. My saddest find was last Sunday when I litter picked in a road pavement with no houses nearby, therefore the rubbish wasn't blown from a household bin. I found a water-filled crisp packet in the hedge with two dead mice inside. They'd either starved to death or drowned during recent rainstorms. The water inside was crystal clear, so I think they must have died before it filled with rain water. Since then when I've eaten crisps I always tear open or not the packets. You're a good person. I'm gonna start doing the same. Poor mice. My coolest was a kind of rare Pokemon card. My grossest was a bottle full of piss and some used toilet paper. There are so many on the sides of the roads it's just sad people are doing this. When I first moved into the apartment building where I live now, somebody was regularly leaving plastic soda bottles around the sidewalk, full of tobacco spittle. That's even grosser Imja. You rang? On a hike in Hawaii, brother picked up a Gatorade bottle and handed it to me to put in his pack. Thankfully I looked into it and saw that there was a brown recluse spider in it. Not along the road but some friends and I were picking up trash at a trailhead. I found a dildo with a suction cup on the end. I stuck it to the hood of a friend's pickup and we all sat on the fence until he came back. Good times. Skeleton by the railroad tracks. Their train must have been taking a long time. Not me, but my buddy's dad found a body while out running. The lesson I take from this, never go running. I ran cross country in high school, we would often run up and down the shore of Lake Michigan in the very early morning. In the three years that I was in CC we found dead bodies four times, three were suicides, one was a naked woman who was all bloated from being in the water. We also ran across drunk slash druggies that had passed out on the beach multiple times.